You're watching college baseball on the SEC Network tonight in Oxford, Mississippi. A top 15 midweek matchup as number four Ole Miss plays host to number 14 Southern Mississippi. Jordan Fowler, the freshman from Union City, Tennessee, has been really good. He's off to a 3-0 start this season. You no, know, it's a great opportunity for Fowler to really prove himself once again in this midweek starting role. Another full count. Ground ball up the middle. Ground ball, right side, base hit. Montenegro going to try to go first to third. Montenegro at third, Franklin at first. Runner goes, ball four, bases loaded, nobody out. Here the full count. Fly ball to center field. Will Golson. That'll score a run. 1-0 lead for Southern Miss, top of the first. Here's another fly ball. This one into the left center gap. That ball carrying, and that ball is going to leave the yard. And that's going to be it for Jordan Fowler. Roth into the game for Ole Miss. That's going full count to five out of six batters. There's strike three called on the inside corner. Keating goes away looking. And throw over to first, and there's a pickoff. Here the 2-2 two -two to Reynolds. Strike three called. He goes away looking. It's a great approach, too, with the wind blowing out of left field like it is. Tied him up upstairs. That's a big strikeout. I think this is the first game we've really had. First or second, we've had true baseball weather. Fly ball, right center field. Golson on the run. That is the second of the night for Hunter Slater, and it's 5-0. Hunter Slater hit four home runs all of last season. He's got six tonight. Keating chases one up and out of the zone for a strikeout. He's also got five strikeouts in the ball game. This ball fought back off. Roth handles that one himself, and there's one away. This ball lined to right, just reach out. And line it. Olenek going to throw toward the plate. The throw is on the money, and Montenegro is tagged out. Cockrell lines it the opposite way. That ball goes down into the right field corner. Zabowski comes around to score. Keenan going to try to score all the way from first. No throw to the plate. A two-run double for Chase Cockrell, and Ole Miss is on the board. This ball gets away, and that allows Cockrell to move up a base. Ball gets away, and Cockrell will come home to score. The one-two. Teased him up. Got a swing and a miss. Strike three called. Keating goes away looking. Mike Bianco will make a call to the bullpen, and I think he's gotten everything he could have hoped for out of Houston Roth. New pitcher coming in for the Rebels is Greer Holston. Strike three called. Montenegro goes away looking. Repitch strikeout. Fortez has to throw down to first. Swing and a miss. It's a big half inning for Greer Holston. Curveball has been much different. This time Adams waits back on it, drives it back through the middle. Down and in for ball four. Squares to bunt. This is a good one, third base side, and nobody going to be able to make a play. Cortez off the glove, the second for one, to first, throw is high, not in time. A run scores, and it's a one-run ball game. Here's the 1-0 to Thomas Dillard. He hits a fly ball to left, goodbye baseball. Seventh home run of the year for Thomas Dillard is a no-doubter. New pitcher in the game for Ole Miss, number 65, Parker Caracy, the 
Redshirt sophomore from Jackson, Mississippi and Jackson Prep. The 0-2 to Irby. Check swing. He went around, says home plate umpire Todd Anderson. They're two down in the inning. Since then, a strikeout, a walk, and a single. Fly ball to deep center field. Will Golson, warning track. Wall makes the catch. Deepest part of the ballpark. Hunter Slater toying with his third home run of the game. But instead, a deep fly out. But Golson not giving up on that ball. Takes it all the way to the wall. Gets the Alvin Rebels get the win tonight. These two teams will meet again in two weeks in Pearl, Mississippi at Trustmark Park. We get another one like this, then the fans that are there will get themselves a treat.